Hello everyone welcomes to my sister wives today today channel, I hope everyone is having a wonderful day before starting the video please go ahead and hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. The real, petty reason behind Cody Brown's runaway sons from sister wives? Cody Brown, star of sister wives, has had difficulties with a few of his older boys. During the COVID-19 pandemic, the 55-year-old started to have problems with Gabriel and Garrison. But other Redditors believe the father of the Brown family is upset with his young adults for more serious reasons. See the surprising rationale by continuing to read. During the COVID-19 epidemic, Cody started to have problems with Gabriel and Garrison. The kids of Janelle disregarded their father's rigorous social distancing guidelines and went out with their pals. Cody became so enraged that he attempted to eject them from their mother's home at one time. The sister wives star's ties with his boys have gotten worse ever since. The situation worsened when Gabriel disclosed in October 2021 that his father had forgotten his birthday during a phone conversation, adding that this was the final time they had spoken. On Reddit, some sister wives fans talked about the potential cause of Cody's tense ties with his boys. The poster claims that young adults should never question elder men because they have heard tales of young men being forced out of the polygamous society to avoid competing with them for women. Others concurred and emphasized how different Cody Brown is from his boys who are older than 18. Numerous tales of young guys being driven out to avoid competing with older men for spouses have come to my attention. What is the fate of these men in the church of Cody? The figures don't add up. Watch again as Cody tries to flee with Janelle's sons. Janelle had a gut feeling that this wasn't truly driven by COVID. Men should not challenge Cody. He shares many similarities with the people he despises. This is where the 18-year-old Cody's come from, get out, attitude. Having too many boys is not a plus for a father, the girls are the valuables that may be exchanged for other men. Boys may be fine, but not young men in their 20s. The majority of young adult sons are told to go their own way, but a select few are kept around. The females are the cash crop and the males are disposed of, much like when harvesting weeds. During the previous season's tell-all, Cody gained notoriety by expressing his regret to his sons, Gabriel and Garrison, in public. The Sister Wives star claims that he doesn't know why their circumstances became problematic. He went so far as to say that his sons ought to have moved out or followed him. Still, he conveyed his sadness about his alienation from them. I apologize, boys. I was attempting to keep my family safe. I apologize and I'd do it differently the next time, he continued. However, Janelle disclosed in the one-on-one -on -one conversation that her ex-husband hasn't tried to mend their relationship. She said, he's still acting like they have to come to him. Sister wives, signs Mary Brown and new boyfriend Amos won't last. Mary Brown, star of Sister Wives, is in a new romantic relationship, but it probably won't survive because she's already disregarded warning signs. Formerly, the 53-year-old reality actress wed her polygamous beau, Cody Brown. In spite of his poisonous attitude, she took care of him and followed him around for 30 years. Mary did everything she could to support Cody, including letting him rule the family and marry Christine, Janelle, and Robin Brown. The patriarch of the Brown family, however, never gave her back and only took actions that would cause her pain. He asked Mary to relocate into his barn, melted her ring, and ended their personal relationship. Even after Cody officially divorced her to marry Robin, Mary stayed married to him. In the hopes that one day he might fall back in love with her, she stayed with him. Sadly, that day never materialized, forcing the matriarch of the Brown family to look for love elsewhere. Mary tried her luck online in 2015 with a person who later turned out to be a scammer. Whatever was going on between her and Cody got worse when she disregarded the warning flags and naively fell in love. Mary made the decision to end her several marriages and eventually break free from polygamy in 2023. She made the decision to get over her spiritual marriage to Cody and start dating Amos Andrews, a divorcee. Mary may not be able to see that her new partner is equally awful as her ex-husband because she has been aching for love for 30 years. The new partner of the matriarch of the old Brown family has a dubious background and a string of failed relationships. The U.S. Sun claims that Amos has been in separate monogamous marriages to four women in the past. 
he was with Tracy Smith Lang, who is the father of his daughter and son. After the marriage failed, he was married to Shannon, with whom he had Tiffany, his daughter. Amos married two different women between the end of the 1990s and the beginning of the 2000s, but neither marriage was successful. Cody is quite similar to Amos, if not superior. Given that Amos has four divorces under his belt, Mary's decision to date him is therefore unexpected. She ought to have known better than to fall in love with a man who had a track record of failing to establish long-term relationships. If nothing else, she ought to have compared him to her ex-husband and considered the possibility that the other women abandoned him. Mary appears to have entered into a new, healthy relationship after leaving her previous one. Although it might not be evident right now, anything can happen at any time. Her most recent romance might not work out. Complicated finances are among the biggest warning signs. Cody has had various difficult circumstances, which served as a clear indication for the sister wives to abandon him. He has also had a highly dubious financial history, particularly with regard to real estate. Cody promised Mary in Sister Wives Season 18 that she would receive the smallest portion of the Coyote Pass. Knowing she was powerless to help herself, he made a conscious effort to offer her a small amount. The land ought to have been split evenly between Cody's four wives. But he made the terrible decision to behave, which was another reason Mary left him. Mary might feel safe with Amos, but when it comes to money, he might be just as wicked as Cody. The U.S. Sun claims that Amos declared bankruptcy more than 20 years ago. At the time, he was seeing one of his ex-wives, and their relationship wasn't working well. Mary recently revealed that she doesn't find it concerning that Amos previously filed for bankruptcy, saying that things happen, and you just build your way out of it. It doesn't characterize you. In some ways, Amos is worse than Cody as well. Despite going through three divorces, the sister-wife star has remained close to his wife throughout the years. During the 1990s, he wed Mary, and they were together for more than 30 years. In a similar vein, he lived with Christine and Mary for almost 30 years before ending things with them when they left. The polygamous man has been married for nearly 15 years to Robin, his only current wife. Cody was the patriarch of the family, even though he did say some unacceptable things about his wives. Cody's polygamy and religion both contributed to his lengthy marriages. Amos has experienced four separate divorces. The saddest part, though, is that he has only had incredibly brief and unproductive relationships. Both of Amos's first and second marriages ended abruptly. His fourth marriage lasted less than five years, while his third lasted only two years. Amos has been accused of controlling conduct and having a reality TV obsession by one of his former partners. Mary views the world with optimism. Her disposition is upbeat, and she maintains optimism about the majority of things in life. She is unfortunately cursed with a nice personality that prevents her from making timely, sensible decisions. In the 1990s, Mary wed Cody and gave him permission to begin polygamy. Sharing him with other wives didn't bother her because she believed it was the proper thing to do. Mary's kindness cost her, as is clear, when Cody lost interest in her. He disregarded Robin while his attraction in her grew. Cody even melted Mary's ring and got a formal divorce from her for Robin. Still, she stuck with him in the hopes that things would improve.